What's up video Ford nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. So in uh, this video, we're going to be looking at moving objects around, uh, rotating them, scaling them, cloning them, and also grouping them. So let's just create a uh, box object here. So first of all, if you look at your top toolbar, you'll see that you've got select and move, you've got rotate and you've got scale. So if you click on the move tool, you'll get these uh, three arrows, the Y axes, the X axes and the Z axes. And if you point to one of these, you can move that object on that axis. So that's the Y axis. You can also click and let's move the X axis and then also the same with the Y axis. And you can also click and drag uh, one of these planes. So if you select this plane, which is the Y and X plane, you can move it around on that plane. Same with the side plane, the Z and X. And same with this one, the Z and Y. And then you can also click this little box and that's like a free move. So kind of moving around on all the different axes. Okay, uh, let's look at the rotate. So click on this select and rotate and you'll get a kind of similar thing also with these different axes. So if you click on one drag, it will rotate around that axis. This one will rotate around that axis and this one will rotate around that axis. Let's quickly undo that. And then if we look at the last one, which is scale. So you can scale it on the Z axis or the Y axis or the X axis. Or if you point this right to the center, you can scale it uniformly. So it will scale all the axes together. Okay, so one very important thing to learn in 3ds Max um, are the shortcut keys or the hotkeys. And basically the ones that you need to remember are the move, rotate and scale hotkeys. So really simple on your keyboard. If you press W, they will go into move. If you press E next to W, they will go into rotate. And if you press R next to the E, that will be scale. So let's press W on your keyboard and we can move it around. Let's press E on the keyboard then we can rotate it around and let's press R on the keyboard and then you can scale it up and down. So really simple way to just use those hotkeys on your keyboard and let's go to move. So press on the W key. Okay, so let me show you guys how to clone an object. So let's select this object and what you need to do is on your keyboard, you need to hold in shift and then we're gonna move it in that direction while holding shift. Let's release shift and the mouse button and it will pop up with this clone options box. And in this course, I'm only gonna cover the copy. So make sure you're on copy. You can specify a name if you want to, but you don't have to do that now. Click on okay. And then it will basically create a clone of that object. So you can do that with multiple objects as well. So let's just drag a box around both these objects, holding shift and then drag them to move them out release shift and also release the mouse button it's going to ask you to copy click on okay and then that will create two clones of those objects okay lastly we're going to look at grouping so let's select all of these boxes so just click and drag a box around these objects and then go to group click on group and it's going to pop up with this dialog box and it's going to ask you to type in a name for your group and let's just call this boxes and then click on okay and then that will group everything together. So if you click on one object, it will automatically select all of them. And if you move them, they will all move together. Let's go to rotate. Uh, let's just click on one object, rotate, and you'll see it will rotate all four objects together because they grouped. And the same with scale, it will scale all four objects at the same time. So let's say we wanna ungroup this. So make sure you've got one of these selected. So everything is selected, basically the whole group and then you click on group again and we're going to click on ungroup and then you can select one object again and they will be ungrouped okay let's just reset our scene quickly let's just maximize this viewport okay let's create another box in the center something like that let's make this 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 so we've got a perfect square and um, now if we click the move tool or you can press w on your keyboard you'll see that these axes showing the y axis x axis and the z axis so let's rotate this box slightly off center and if we select the move tool again you'll see that the axis is still showing y x and z in that same position but say you want to move this cube so it actually slides upwards 
according to the way that this object is rotated. So what you need to do here at the top where it says your reference coordinate system, currently that's set to view, and if we set this to local, that will actually change that gimbal so that it's aligned to that object. So now we can see that the x-axis will actually slide on that axis that the object is rotated at. Same with the y-axis and same with the z-axis. And if we change that back to view, that will be the view coordinate system again. So z will be straight up, x will be sideways, and y will be that way on the axis. Okay, so that's all about moving, rotating, and scaling, and also grouping and cloning some objects in 3ds Max. And also be sure to check out some of our other awesome tutorials on the VideoFort YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.